Hey y'all, Jim Wellman. It's crazy hair day. Um, it's September 20th, 2021. Came out here reconfigured. I had all my nukes that were walkaway splits. All eight of them took. Very happy with that. Right here you'll see just a tidbit of knowledge. A one gallon feeder bucket sits in the side of a, inside. Two of them will fit inside a five, gal, or a five frame nuke with the lid on. You can close it up too. Just a tidbit of knowledge. If you're somebody like me, you don't have much storage space. That's a good way to go. But anyway, we came out here just today to uh, check on the hives, reconfigure. When I got here, this one, which was a double, had a castle on top of it. Um, so it was like basically double deep, double deep nuke. They didn't do anything on the top. There was nothing flying out of it even. So I was really worried. But went in there. I did see a couple eggs and I saw, you know, a lot, you know, brood and larvae and stuff. So I know the queen's in there. I couldn't find her anywhere. But I think, I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't know what to say. But... The rest are doing pretty good, obviously trying to expand, going to uh, Orange Blossom this year with 25 hives. Last year I got 55 pounds out of each. I hope to do the same again. Who knows what will happen this year, but if I can do that again, I'm hoping for like 1,200 pounds of orange, delicious, the most unadulterated, pure Orange Blossom honey you'll ever put in your mouth. If we can do the same for Tupelo, which I don't know if I have enough room where I'm going for Tupelo to put 25 hives, but if I did, I think I could get 700 pounds this year. Also, I'm going to target some comb. Last year targeted some comb. I think I'm getting bit right now, stung. Hold on, let me check this out. Oh, you know what it is? You probably can't see it. But there's stingers in the back of my leg. Look at that. I don't know if it can focus, but there's a stinger in my pant leg. There's a bunch of them. So they must have been biting my <laughs> bunch of ankle biters out here. That's funny, you know, people have those... Oh yeah, the Russian bees, or I forget which ones they are, but they say they call them ankle biters because they take after the uh, the mites or something. Under the uh, not the mite, maybe it's the mites. Anyway, they breed them for hygienic qualities. Maybe I got some ankle biters I don't know about. Anyway, um, but uh, you know, this year or going in next year, I did it in Tupelo. I targeted some just found, comb found or uh, wax foundation to get some honeycomb. And I got a few frames of that, sold some of it. People like, for some reason, more so than just the pure, just comb by itself. They like to comb in a chunk in a jar. Why, I don't know, but uh, I'll probably do some more of that next year because I didn't sell too much of my just straight comb. But I'll, uh, I'll try it again this year to collect some orange blossom and some Tupelo. We'll see what happens. Right now, I should be driving down to drop these hives off, or my other hives off in a Brazilian pepper. I'll probably go through my hives this week, get a good thorough breakdown of everything I've got, and then maybe next weekend drive nine or maybe nine to 12 hives down to Brazilian pepper, we'll see. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Jim Wellman, like and subscribe. Comments or questions down below. Um, give you a little shot of the bees before we get out of here. Hope I don't get a shot of the bees again. I'm still getting stung in my leg. I can feel them. Those little stingers are all over the place. But they're doing all right. They're not like, you know, these are these were five frame nukes a minute ago. Now they're ten frame, you know. So hopefully they expand. There's good brood patterns in most of them. This one over here was pretty weak. But I'll come back out here. I'll put some feed on them. I'm going to probably get some patties and some one-to-one -one sugar syrup. Probably come out here with some new lids with some holes drilled. And uh, these are 71 millimeter feeder holes. What I did with that was I cut the same size hole that's in the top of this so I could plug it instead of with these caps because these are super cheap. So I think that might, might be what I start doing rather than 71 millimeter hole saw. I'm going to go with the, whatever size that is. I really honestly can't remember right now. But um, that plug, plastic plug, will fit in that nice tight seal. These plastic plugs are super cheap. And then I don't have to worry about trying to get any of this metal, um, wherever they are. Mason jar lids that rust. It's hard to put a hole in them. All you got to do is, you know, it's easy to poke a hole in one of these. So I'll leave you at that. We'll see you next time.